hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm still the creative director of uh, dvc creations so this video i'm going to show you guys the tricks pros and cons of uh, how to make a blazers so first and foremost you know you have we have to start with our starting line so with this video i'm going to make our starting line to be six inches So once I'm done connecting the lines, so the next is to give space on our lapel. Some people use three, some people use two, some people use uh, five, depending on what you want to achieve. But this time I'm going to use uh, four inches. Like so. So I have six here, I also have four inches here. So the next thing for me to do is to length of the basic measurements. So from here, my chest is a uh, seven, my bust is ten and a half, my waist is uh, eighteen. Then my waist to hip, I'm going to make it to be. I'm going to make it to be nine inches. Depending, this thing depends on how long you want your blazers to be. So from this nine inches, I'm going to mark out one and um, two inches for folding. So I'm going to repeat the same measurement this side. So these are my measurements. I'm going to connect the lines of camera and show you guys. Now I have connected all my lines. Here I have my chest line. Here I have my bust line here i have my waist line then here is the full length so in this video i'm going to use i'm going to use standard neckline of three by three so i'm using the standard neckline of three by three So I'm connecting the lines. You know, this three by three is also what you, you what you use for your um, for your shirt. So I'm going to use my my French curl to achieve a a neckline curl. I'm going to make my shoulder to be my shoulder is seven, my shoulder is 14 divided by 2 will give me 7 but I'm going to make this to be 7 and a half so I'm going to minus 1 inch from here My armhole is 7.75, so I'm going to make this to be 8.25. This one is uh, 7. Points. So I'm going to connect. So once I connect, this is my boss. My boss pan is a uh, 3.75. Also, I want it to be well fitted, not like fitted though. I want it to correspond with my body. That's what I mean. So once I have this, the next thing for me to do, I'm going to go up by one inch. I'm also going to go down by one inch. For the bust, for the waist, I'm going to go outside by 0.75. I'm going to go in by half inch on this side. This side half inch, this side 0.75. But on the way on the full length, I'm going to go by half half inch. So from here, I'm going to connect like so. From this, I'm going to connect like so also then from here i'm going to connect this to this from here i'm going to connect 
this to this. So from here, I'm going to divide my shoulder into two. Here I have four and a half, so I'm going to divide it into two. Please, here is where you will decide where your dart will be. You can decide for it to have a princess dart. You can decide for it to have shoulder dart. Me, I like shoulder dart. So I'm going to connect this center to this one, one inch up. I'm going to use my curve rule. To mark out or to curve them um, to blend out. So I'm using it to blend out. So I'm going to also blend here out. So once I'm done, I'm going to blend here also out. I'm also going to blend here out. So you can see the shape. So here is where I will decide my lapel and also my collar. See, uh, if you don't want your blazer to have a collar, hmm? if you don't want it to have a collar, just add one inch mark it straight for your button if you don't want it to have button just add half inch for your seam allowance and then you cut out you are good to go also if you want it to have only lapel we don't want it to have color just follow the instructions that i'm going to show you the laser to have color so this is what you are going to do Sorry guys, I just noticed that this thing is they are not the lines are not equal. So here is where you will decide how long you want your lapel to be. From here to here is the waist. If you like, you come down from the waist, you come down by one inch. If you like, you go up by one inch. If you like, you stop at your bust, depending on where you want it to stop so I want it to come down by one inch so from this one inch I'm going to add one inch also outside the main line for my for my button hole but on this project I'm not going to use button hole because I don't have button hole machine so I'm going to use a, an alternative to it and also, please, if you know how to use uh, your industrial machine or your black hair to make button hole, please, I'll, I am so much interested. So here, mm, we have achieved, this is what we call our break point, BP. Eh? This is what we call our break point. So here is where you will decide how wide you want your lapel to be or how you want your lapel to be. Mm -hmm. But when you are deciding, you use your ruler from this break point. Eh, from this break point, you use your ruler to mark and, and, and to connect from these two. You can connect it outside this box. You can connect it outside this box. Did you see what I did? Hmm? Are you seeing the line? So, see my trickle. I like to flip this thing over like so. So here is where it starts. It started. So I'm going to use this mark. Okay, perfect. Do you see what I did? I flip this thing over to help me achieve what I want to achieve. So this is the trick that I find that it will be helpful to you watching this video. 
so this is my neckline mm -hmm. let me use hand to this is my neckline i'm just using the outside version this is my neckline right so okay let me just shade it very well so that you guys will see this is my neckline thank god you guys can see it so here you will decide how you want from here yeah i'm going to extend remember that we this is four inches so i'm going to extend this line to this so i'm extending this line here mm -hmm. so that it will be a guide to what i'm about to do okay perfect this is four inches i have extended here then from this point i'm going to mark this is like optional you can go by one inch you can go in by one and a half you can go in by two depending if you want your lapel see yes, this is how your lapel will look like oh yeah do you see how wide this thing looks like it's for you to decide how you want it to look so i'm going to go by i'm going to mark out three inches then mark out one inch one inch first then from this zero uh, from this point you also mark out your three inch. so which means one inch in then two inch in again so from this two inch in i'm going to raise this up by three inches This will give me a guide on what I want to achieve. This is where all the tricks comes into into play. Like how do you want your how do you want your lapel to look like? How do you want it to be? How do you want it as in how do you want to style it? Or design it some people start from this point and eh, from this main color neckline to mark out their to mark out their color and also from here to just you know do whatever you want or do whatever you that pleases you that you can achieve on your own so once I'm done here so from here you can see what I marked earlier you know I said here will be three inches depending on how you want yours to be so I'm going to trace out what I marked at the back so guys this is um, where you will display all your talents or all the things that that have been in your mind on how to design your stuff so remember that I said from here to here you go in by you come out by one inch then from here to here depending on what you want me i use from here to here one from here to here two inches don't mind this rubber it's what i used what i'm using to tie my pattern paper so from this point i'm going to connect it to this uh, breaking point so i'm also going to use dotted line You see, so this thing we I know that you people have seen a um, lapel that is you will just you know curve it like this. All this thing depends on how what you want. You can even do zigzag. You understand? You can even do any style you want on it. Depend as far as it's something achievable. So I'm going to flip again to know exactly how my lapel looks like. So this is how my lapel will look on the outside. And also here, this is how it will look like. 
when you flip it over. But if you are not super comfortable with it, you can also extend it from here to here. Yeah? Let's just check how this one will look like. So depending on what you want, do you want this from this to this or from this to this? All this depends on what you want. So since I have achieved this, yeah. The next thing is the collar. So from here to here will be three and half. Three and half. And I'm going to extend this to I'm going to extend this to four inches. This thing is it's supposed to be four inches so i'm going to add extra pepper here so that i will achieve what i want to achieve so i have added extra pepper to it so i'm going to measure my four and this is not supposed to be straight because the, the this back will help to relax at the at the back of your neck so I'm going to mark my 90 to be here, my um, say 90, my 4 inches to be up here. So that's why I added this. So once I have this, I'm going to use my curve rule. Also, depending on what you want, you can use your curve rule to finish it off. To finish the lines, you can also use a free hand to also finish it up. So, do you see how it looks like? So, now my collar is ready. My lapel is also ready. So, on this lapel also, let me also show you guys this trick. Like from this lapel, you can also come down by... Um, you can also come down by half inch or one inch depending on how you if you come down by one inch your lapel will look like this do you see how the lapel now have another dimension your lapel will look like this so we are going to check it out to, to see how it looks here okay so this is how the lapel will, the lapel and the collar will look like so me i don't like it like i said everything is a matter of choice so the next thing for me to do now i'm going to extend this this is my um armhole then make a standard armhole so my bust my bust is uh, 37, so I'm going to I'm going to divide 37 by 4. I'm going to divide 37 by 4, which will give me nine and a half. Please, I'm not shifting my hand to this uh, this collar this breaking point line. I'm on the main line of it our main line before okay 9.25 then my waist is 31 31 divided by 4 so if you don't know how to divide you can also use your tape to divide fold like this then you also fold again So from here, when I measure, I'm not measuring this uh, bottom hole allowance, no. I'm also measuring on this our main line. This our main line. So what I have here is 3.25. I'm going to shift my tape to meet 3.25 exactly and continue my measurement. On this point, I'm going to use my hip line, which is 41. I'm not going to use my waistline because my waistline is more tinier than my hip. And the more you are going down, the more bigger it is. So I'm going to divide my hip by 4. 
it's supposed to be 10.25 10.25 so i'm going to cross check here is 3.25 i'm going to repeat the same measurements the same thing i did on the waist and mark out my 10.25 so i'm going to connect the line the lines so So this is how it looks like. I'm going to use my curve root to shape to blend out the harsh lines that I have here. So for this part, I don't like this to be like so sharp like this. I'm going to use my curve root. I'm going to use my curve root and and blend it out like so. So guys, this is it. We have come to this is for the front part, and we have come to the end of this video. The next part is how to how to cut your back uh, your your the back panel of your blazers. Then after that, we will cut it on the fabric, and then we will sew it. You will sew it together with me to know if actually what i did here is correct so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and then drop your comments down below make sure you turn on the notification bell to be the first to be notified